What I do y'all today, I'm gonna be eating some Swedish meatballs, some mashed potatoes, and some lingonberry jam. This is all from Ikea. Official Ikea products, uh, I picked this up from Ikea and it cost me about 30 bucks, man. Ikea prices really be throwing me off sometimes. I got the cheap stuff. They also got the expensive stuff, so I don't really know what to think. So today we're just working with some uh, frozen food. You know, nothing too crazy. Here's the meatballs. Here's the mashed potatoes. You've probably seen frozen meatballs before, but these mashed potatoes are intriguing. I've never really seen frozen mashed potatoes like this. They feel like little mashed potato nuggets, so I'm curious to see what these look like. I've had IKEA meatballs, IKEA food once. It was uh, back in the olden days. I don't really remember it. I mean, I remember it being pretty good. Oh, damn. That'll probably take like 20 minutes. Let's take a look at these real quick. Wow. This looks exactly like tteokbokki, which is a Korean food, like a Korean snack. It looks exactly like it. I didn't really see any sauce at the Ikea, like some gravy, which thinking about it, like that could be a, a major strikeout, but I maybe that's what this is for. I Let's try this out. Mm. To me, this reminds me of like cranberry sauce. That's what I can compare it to. It's good. Mm. That ain't looking half bad. Let me get some of this jam up on there. I feel like I might need some gravy, but I don't got it, so we're gonna be doing it real old school today. But yeah, look at that, man. And I use about half the mashed potatoes, half the meatballs, so I'd say, and only a couple scoops of this, so I'd say, I mean, at the end of the day, it's not too bad of a price. Let me start with this mash over here. That ain't half bad, man. Wow. I was afraid they would be not buttery enough, but uh, now this came out just about perfect in my opinion. That's real solid. Let me try these meatballs. Hot. That's real solid too, man. I, more, you know, I forgot what Swedish meatballs are all about. I don't taste anything particularly Swedish about them. They're just good solid uh, meatballs, man. And that combo. Here's where it gets a little bit interesting. If we take a meatball, and mix it in with some of that lingonberry jam right there. It reminds me of a holiday dinner, you know what I mean? Like a Thanksgiving. Man, I would definitely eat this again. The meatballs were by far the most expensive thing. I think the meatballs are probably about 18 bucks or so. 18, 19. The mashed potatoes were the cheapest ones, surprisingly. Oh, it's even cheaper than this. The mashed potatoes are about, probably about five bucks. I don't know how authentic this is really, or if it's just kind of a gimmick. But I think it is somewhat authentic.
Damn, yo. I gotta say, that was mighty fine. I had to say it, man. I tell you what, man, I mess with IKEA. I mess with it for sure. But yeah, that was that was a great meal. I'm about to skid out of here, so thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.